Eliminate the rat race mentality. I often hear people conversing about being stuck in the rat race as if they were discussing the weather in a very casual, matter-of-fact manner. The assumption seems to be, there's no escaping it, it's just a fact of life for everyone. One of the problems with this mentality is that the label, rat race, implies, among other things, assumptions like, I'm in a hurry, get out of my way, there's never enough time, there's not enough to go around, it's a dog-eat-dog world, and so forth. It sets you up to be frightened, impatient, and annoyed by constantly reinforcing and validating a self-defeating belief. You'll notice that most people who describe themselves as being, in the rat race, will indeed be hyper and easily bothered. It's important to note, however, that there are other people with the same types of jobs, pressures, responsibilities, and schedules who experience and describe their work in a much more peaceful and interesting way. Yet, they are every bit as effective and productive as their more nervous and agitated counterparts. It's always refreshing for me to meet people who, despite being part of the corporate, commuting, and or working world, have made the decision to not buy into this frenetic and destructive label. They refuse to box themselves in by the way they describe their experience. Instead, they live in a more accepting way, constantly on the lookout for a positive take on their experience. So much of our daily work life exists in our own mind, dependent upon what aspects we focus on and how we characterize our experience. In other words, when we describe our day, we might feel very justified in saying, Oh God, it was awful. I was stuck in horrible traffic with millions of other angry people. I spent my day in boring meetings, always scrambling a few minutes behind. There were arguments and almost constant conflict to deal with. What a bunch of jerks. The identical day might be thought of differently. You might describe it like this. I drove to work and spent much of my day meeting with people. It was a challenge, but I did my best to stay as long as possible at one meeting without being late for the next one. The art of my work is bringing together people who, on the surface, don't seem to be able to get along very well. It's a good thing I'm there to help. Can you feel the difference? And it's not a matter of one description being realistic and accurate, and the other being wishful thinking. The truth is, both are absolutely accurate. It all depends on the well-being of the person doing the thinking. The same dynamic applies to whatever you happen to do for a living or how you spend your time. You can always make the argument, I'm stuck in the rat race, or you can find another way to think about it. You can begin to eliminate the rat race mentality and, in the process, become a calmer person and create a more interesting life, by deciding to stop discussing it with others and by recharacterizing your day and your responsibilities in a healthier way. As your mind is focused in a more positive direction, and as you're looking for the gifts of your day instead of the hassles, you'll begin to notice aspects of your work life that may have been invisible to you. You'll actually see things differently. Everywhere you look, you'll see opportunities for personal and spiritual growth. You'll see more solutions and fewer problems, as well as plenty of ways to enhance and maximize your experience. I hope you'll consider eliminating the rate race mentality, your work will be a lot more rewarding if you do. If you enjoyed this video and want to hear from us again, be sure to hit that subscribe button and bell icon before you go. It encourages us to create more informative content for you. Thank you.